Welcome back to Uncle Vani's. Thanks. Some exclusive alloys and compounds came in this week. I can't say how we obtained them, but your javelin will thank you if you pick some up. You're very persuasive, Serena. <laughs> Thanks. I've been practicing. I'm glad you're here. I want to tell you about my Korox adventure. Oh, yeah. I want to hear what happened. Okay. So it was a beautiful day, and it took us a while, but we finally found a baby Korox. When I started to pet him, he looked at me with all his eyes, and he made the most adorable grunting sound, which in retrospect was probably a call of some kind, because his mom showed up and whoa, she was mad. And so quick. Were you hurt? That was the weird thing. I was petting the baby, but his mom only went after my cousin Delton. He had his gun, but that Korox was on him hard and fast. Okay. Here's the thing, he took a good hit and he flew a long way. But when he got up, nothing was broken. And he didn't even have a mark on him. <laughs> Lucky, huh? But he started peeing blood yesterday, so he's gonna have to keep an eye on that. Yeah, he probably should. On the bright side, I did get to pet a baby Korox. That's something. It sure is. Oh, don't forget about that new stock we brought in. I'll try not to. Freelancer, do we have trust issues? You know, most people start with a hello or how are you? Hello? Would you say you trust me? Kind of. That's what I thought. I feel somewhat responsible for your misgivings. I don't know if I'd go that far. I've decided to be more forthcoming with you. Okay. Do you know what Corvus does with Dominion informants? No, but I'm interested. We question them. I was expecting something more. Until they give us an answer. And they always answer. Always. Do you torture them? No, we are not the Dominion. We use psychological interrogation methods that are far more effective than physical pain. Then what do you do with them? What do you mean? When you're done questioning. We execute them. Good to know. I thought you might be interested in how Corvus operates. And I want to build trust. Great. I'll be in touch. I apologize for being a little crabby during our last chat. Guess I touched a nerve. Yes, but I didn't have to respond as poorly as I did. Anger can be an asset, Matthias, but peevishness is just bad manners. My mentor, Philo Ray. One of the lessons it seems I still haven't quite learned. Philo Ray taught you. I've heard she was a brilliant arcanist. And the reason I'm not dead in a ditch. How did you meet? I, uh, uh, robbed her. That really was not what I was expecting. She was a fancy lady, I was a street kid. What would you have done? Okay, fine. I probably would have robbed her too. Can you blame me? All I saw was a case full of expensive looking things. I knew they had to be worth something to someone, so I grabbed the case. Shaper relics. I didn't realize the danger. I got lucky, nothing blew up when I took it apart. But Phyla had followed me. It was impossible for an unschooled vagrant to silence a relic, she said. That made her want to teach you? I think so. She never explained. Maybe it was the way I handled the relic. It took her an hour to convince me to go with her. A whole hour? It's a wonder she didn't give up. I would have. Oh, once Phyla Ray gets an idea into her head, nothing will dislodge it. She sat down with me and talked to me about the Arcanists, about the Shapers. I was hooked. Then she sealed the deal with Caramels. Sweets. Really? What? They were good. I was hungry. She was the first to call me a prodigy. Damn, I miss her. Anyway, I... You're probably busy. We can talk later. Prin 
wonderful you have some time to help. I have several things that need attention, especially finding more of those runes. Hi again. Freelancer. Uh, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Were you trying to make a joke, Bryn? I'm attempting something new. I don't think I enjoyed it. I should tell you, I'm impressed with how you've handled yourself on missions. Freelancers. We get the job done. Sometimes, from what I've heard. And you believe everything you hear? You do seem shockingly reliable. Shockingly? Oh, uh, pleasantly. Uh, surprisingly? Has anyone ever told you that you're not great with people, Bryn? Oh, constantly. How do you even have an opinion of freelancers if I'm the first one you've worked with? Hmm. From radio shows and other Sentinels. Have you ever considered Sentinel life? A long time ago, before joining the Freelancers. And? I was figuring things out. I also thought about breeding Gravits for a while. I've always known what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, rules and regs keep the world in order. A place for everything. Sounds like you used that line before. My mother's favorite. She was a Sentinel too, and she also loved rules. Isn't working with Freelancers without permission breaking those rules? If the Sentinels don't adapt, the fort won't be around much longer to protect. And isn't that adapting, just breaking the rules with purpose? <laughs> now you're just talking nonsense. I'll see you around. Potentially. Hi again, Bryn. Freelancer. Hello again. Hi. While I have you, we need more information about this odd scar activity. If you have time to lend the Sentinels a hand. On it. Just pass on the details when you have them. Yes. Will do. So, what are you after today? Matthias Sumner. Is he really banned from the bar? That arcanist? Oh yeah. Technically, he's not allowed within half a click, but the fort's not that big. Half a click? He didn't mention that. What happened exactly? He's sitting over there with a bunch of brains. They had about five rounds of silver, no sign of drying up. They start arguing about some nonsense. I don't know what got said, but Matthias throws a drink at one guy. Then Genius Boy stands up on the table, shouts, Do the math or shove off! And flings himself at the guy. Smashed the hell out of the table. Tried to stab a guy with a busted chair leg. I had to call the Sentinels. Huh, I... Guess he really likes math. Yeah, that makes it all better. Anyways, everything going all right around here lately? No curses or anything? Doesn't work like that. Guy before Dusty, Zeno something, took over, changed the name to the Black Emporium. Two months later, hit by lightning inside the fort. Sentinels found him fried to a crisp and fused to his chair in the back room. Glitch crap just happens. You don't hear about it beforehand. I see plenty of things in the jungle just as weird as that. The further out into the frontier you go, the more glitched it gets. I'm not sweating it. Besides, this is the only spot to get a drink between Antium and glitching Allheim. It's worth nearly as much as the city of Helios. I'm not giving that up for a scary story. You should have kept the, the crown and signet name. It had class, you know? Are you, Sev? In the flesh. You must be the freelancer Tassen hired. Huh. <laughs> You actually look capable. Were you expecting otherwise? No. Well, sort of. I'm used to getting scraps, not resources. I thought Corvus would have plenty to go around. Oh, they do. But I'm in the proverbial doghouse. Long story short, I pissed off the wrong people and ended up in this shithole. Why 
at first glance, Fort Tarsus may not seem like much, but... It's a shithole. The bar doesn't even have a name. I used to, but... I know the story. All the stories. Let's just talk about the job. Corvus has received reports of Scars ambushing supply caravans. Pretty standard. Except they were using some new acidic weapon. Extremely potent, not the usual Scar fare. Scars are scavengers. They must have gotten the acid from somewhere. Great minds. I had a scout follow a trail of the gunk to a possible source. Your cipher has the coordinates. Nice work, Sev. What kind of intelligence agent would I be if I didn't give you a little intel? Let me know when you're on your way. Hey, you're a freelancer, right? I've heard things about you. What kind of things? Some of the Arcanists said you stopped a cataclysm. Or a giant Ursix? Or both? That was me, yeah. It was uh, kind of both. Interesting. You're one to watch. I don't want to say too much just yet, but be mindful. A lot of eyes will be on you soon. What does that mean? It means this is the time to show what you're made of. You've got a contract for me. I'm happy to hear it. Not a contract, exactly. Have you ever heard of the Path to Glory? It's like a ranking of Lancers, right? That's not all it is. There are certain rewards offered to those on the Path. Rewards offered by who, exactly? The Emperor. Put yourself on the Path, Freelancer. What you do will matter, I promise. If everyone would just bend their knees, we'd have a lot less downtime. Thank you. For what? For stepping close so you don't impede foot traffic. You were off to the side, so it seemed to make sense. My apologies. I assumed you would recognize me from one of my public safety forums. Sorry, I was not aware those were happening. My name is Perndal Blatch, and I'm the Fort Custodian. I maintain and improve all public works and spaces. Sounds like a big job. It's enormous. I'm seeking public input on an initiative to improve life in Fort Tarsus. Would you care to take part? I might. Excellent. Please answer the following questions. Do you A, believe the fort needs immediate improvements to function more efficiently, or B, recognize the fort has glaring inefficiencies that must be corrected? Aren't those statements both the same? No. One suggests immediate action, and the other identifies issues, then proposes solutions. I'm not sure the fort wants to change. The fort must change. It's unsafe in so many ways. Take the walking issue, for example. Did you say walking? Yes. People walk and stop wherever they please. This causes stoppages, bumping, and even pedestrian rage. I'm proposing we implement lanes and foot traffic rules of way. Port residents will never buy into it. I disagree. People said we didn't need the fountain, but now I'm spearheading the campaign to restore it. How does a fountain make the fort more efficient? The fountain creates a meeting place and instills pride in the community. Happy people are more productive. Is the fountain working? Not at the moment. There's a piping issue. It was nice chatting with you. I'm off to a meeting regarding proper personal equipment in the forge area. Good luck with that. Thank you. It's not easy keeping this fort safe. Hey, I heard something about you, and I wanted to see if it was true. It's probably not. I hope it is. Okay. True or false? At Princess Zim's caravan, did you eat Korok's testicles? False. Oh, no. This is not good. Why does this disappoint you? I made a sizable wager you did! This is gonna cost me. Maybe I can help you out. Really? Oh, that would be so great. Why don't you make it double or nothing? I ate a Manticar's pheromone sack. No way. You ate car sack? Yes, and please don't ever say car sack again. Oh, you're a lifesaver. I am forever in your debt. No, you aren't. Yes, I am. And I will never forget that you did this for me. That's what I'm afraid of. One of the four amplifiers has a very distinctive aroma. It's not good.
Ah, freelancer. I'm finishing up a few stories for the wall. This a bad time? No, no, good time. <laughs> the task is better with company. This is not the grand wall of Freemark, but it's a good start. Why do you do this? The wall, the stories, all of it? For the history books? <laughs> I'm not that vain. Well, not about these things. You never saw the Grand Wall, eh? Oh, people came from every corner of Bastion to see it. They read our stories. They believed in us. People haven't changed. They'll see the work being done and come around. Of course they will. <laughs> uh, what is it? My friend, the one I lost, I can hear him doubting us both. He could be a stormy sky. Ah, uh, but I could make him laugh, huh? You said he was a freelancer? Yes, Garnet. Freelancer Garnet. I helped him pick that call sign, you know. It fit. He had a bad start, but survived it all. Oh, tough, that one. But one rainy day, he didn't come home. What happened? I don't know. Not all of it. Not where he fell. You see, I have his name, but not his story. This pains me. He was beyond the wall making things better. The details don't matter. Of course, of course. I know this. Just... It pains me. Someone was counting on him to be there. And he was. That is why I send you out there to pay your respects. To gather stories for our wall. Maybe one day, you bring his story back. Javelin primed. What's my target, Bryn? Scars are piling up a store of weapons. Blow them up. Uh, Please. Understood. I'm on it.
glass pile. <laughs> Even the scars can't salvage anything from this. No more slot piles. You really cut the scars raiding capabilities. Sentinels need help against the scar attack. Understood. I'm on it. The Sentinels, they need help finding those scars. Understood.
Be careful. It looks me. Got it. Thanks. You really helped us out. 